Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day and today is Thursday the 23rd and today was a lovely beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning fairly early, got the dogs all taken care of. Um, Bruce didn't poop in the house which was a good feeling, uh, not something that happens all that often in that process. It's been going a lot more, it just seems like it happens a lot more than it should. So. But didn't have to kind of a mess there, which is always nice. Uh, makes you feel good when that happens. Makes me have hope that he's going to live a little longer. So, but yeah, went ahead, um, got the dogs out, got them all fed, got them all taken care of. Um, had three different dogs getting dropped off today. So I dealt with that stuff. Um, had the one got dropped off pretty early in the morning and then two more getting dropped off like middle of the day. So went ahead after the one got dropped off, I went ahead and went and got my run in. That way I didn't worry about it. Um, with the rest of the timing of everybody else coming and drop the dogs off and stuff because they'll give you a time frame and then often that changes. So went ahead and got my miles in, got my run done, um, all that good fun stuff. The three dogs that showed up, I've all watched them before, so not a problem there at all. Um, the one couple dropped their dog off. I'm like, so where are you guys off to? So they're just going for one night. I'm like, oh, we're going to Edgewater. And I'm like, you're in Edgewater. She's like, oh no, I'm at St. Augustine. So they were heading over to St. Augustine instead. But gonna go spend the day up there. I told them a couple things that we like to do up there and chatted about that for a little bit. Had ourselves a nice little conversation. Dogs are all getting along great. And the one dog that got dropped off is also another white dog. So I sent <coughs> Chloe's owner photos like, hey, we got another white dog that's going for messiest, dirtiest dog. And she laughed. So, but yeah, that was a good one. Um, dogs all playing, everybody's getting along splendid, which is always nice. So you don't have to worry about the stress of the dogs being ornery to each other. So I did have two meet and greets scheduled uh, with three different dogs and first one basically went off without a hitch my wife actually earlier i guess my wife took her father to the doctor's office and had to go for an appointment for a pre-op uh, appointment for a heart procedure he has to have done and they got there and the doctor they talked to first of all they get there and then they were told they're for, running at least 40 minutes behind probably closer to an hour and i'm like you didn't know that before that like it would be nice to even literally like as they walked in there telling them that as they walk in the office and i'm like you could have texted me that and i could have they could have stopped they could have went and did some shopping they could have done god knows what else but or tell them you're an hour behind they could have, could have stayed at work an extra hour but who the hell knows so kind of is what it is there so yeah so they went ahead she had that nice long delay she was heading home and i'm like well i got a meet and greet at 5 15 so she was going to be getting here about the same time and then they texted they were actually early they're going to be there closer to 5 5 and i'm like not a problem let's put the dogs out my wife pulled in first so she made it which made it nice um she did a little bit of meet and greet we were hanging out um, with the dogs the dogs were doing good um two little dogs actually a rottweiler and then a little dog and they were all getting along the rottweiler was trying to bully bruce it was pretty funny so this senior stuff and she's like kind of trying hard not to and i said don't worry about bruce will tell him when she's when he's done so she kind of bugged bruce a little bit and bruce kind of barked at her pretty hard and put her in her place and then everything calmed down for a little bit and she was thankful for that she's like that dog needs more of that needs more of that education of when to stop and then it did it again and bruce did it again it's like three different times bruce really kind of put the dog down and the woman's like that's what the dog needs like he needs some she needs more of this she's still young and dumb and she's kind of reverting back into her puppy stage she's hitting two but she said a lot of the stuff i had trained out of her she's like a two-year-old rottweilers kind of have a weird terrible twos she's coming back into that so we had a little conversation with that a little bit so we kind of chatted a little while and super friendly the dogs outside started playing a little bit loud so wife headed out there to check on them and the lady left second meet and greet showed up an old hound dog and old basset hound showed up and just he was oh, so funny wrinkly head and everything else had a good time so that meet and greet went fine my wife just stayed out with other dogs outside and then got done with it um they headed home and we booked both of them and then one of them i thought was like for the 30th but it's uh, the 24th which would be tomorrow but it's the 24th of like may so i'm like oh okay cool so i didn't have to worry about because i have a bunch of dogs this weekend my wife's out of town so it's one of those things where it's like oh do i really want to take a new dog when i'm here by myself well my mom's here but my wife's not here kind of thing adds for a little more stress but this dog is pretty chill and laid back he just wants to sniff stuff he don't really care when the bruce was there but it was all good so but that's way out in may so i don't have to worry about it at all so i went ahead and from there we ended up having a little dinner um, watched a little bit of seinfeld then heading back out so i got the dogs fed again which was fun because i got a bunch of extra dogs now because max and eddie and halo all three have been dropped off so i got them all separated out and got them all fed and everybody had a good time with it and then we proceeded to 
basically head back outside, play with the dogs, play the 3D printer again, and try to learn some different stuff on it. Like, I don't know what's going on. I got it. I've been using Creality, which is a slicer, and everybody says I be using Cura. And I guess Creality was like an early version of Cura. But for some reason, my computer is defaulting back to Creality instead. So I'm trying to figure out, I need to go through and figure out how to delete it. I'm just not a PC guy. Like everything I did was on the Mac. And I might have to just put the stuff on the Mac and say to hell with it. But who knows? I got to figure it out. Hopefully, I, I keep thinking I can find somebody local here that will just like stop by on my computer and like physically show me the stuff. Like I'll download a, a file and then it like apparently renames itself something that the, the software can't find. So I've been having trouble with that. So I've been spending a lot of time on YouTube and stuff and Facebook chat groups trying to figure out how to work it. And it's just, it's nerve wracking, but it's also kind of satisfying when I find something out. The problem with it is, I don't know if it's my brain doesn't work right when it comes to computers or what, because I'll do something and it'll work once. I'm like, cool, I got this. I'll go back and do the exact same steps again for the next project and it doesn't work at all. I'm like, okay, I obviously did something differently because computers don't just like randomly accept information wrong, but I'm punching in something wrong, but I don't know what I'm punching in wrong. So that's become rather annoying in that process but it's all learning curve and is what it is so yeah i went ahead and a couple of the prints i had i did have failed because i couldn't get the supports and stuff off it and that so they got trashed but it's all good i found a couple things that were that worked well that i did um, my wife took a couple items to work gave it one for co-workers she's studying to be a marine biologist and um, gave her one of the articulated sharks that i made and it's a big hammerhead it's actually a really cool piece it looked really good in, in black but I think it looked better in gray. So I'm gonna probably print one in gray and then see how it does. But then she also gave her my frog or my shrog. That's how you look at it. It's a half shark, half frog. So it's like a frog legs and body with a shark fin and shark head. That's so kind of a weird looking little, you know, the creature, but it's all good. So she gave her both those and that, so it was nice. So, but yeah, I was hanging outside in the evening, uh, smoked a cigar, enjoyed the puppies, and then headed in a little bit early. Um, showed my wife I bought a new, like a, like a mood light type thing that basically shoots like stars on the sky and she's like a Borgoris lights onto the sky and stuff and it makes like sounds and stuff too but it's kind of just a little atmospheric thing to kind of throw in the room at random, random times but mostly kind of got it for like scarlet night on the cruise ship kind of light our room up with some red lights and kind of add a little new look to the room I guess kind of thing so but it was kind of cool she was pretty excited about how well it looked so I need to have it set up it's a little bit I had it up on the dresser and it's a little too tall to the ceiling so you need to put it either on the floor or down lower so it creates more of an atmosphere across the whole room not just as high as it was so yeah overall um everything was a good day and it's all i got right now and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching